Let's hit it. Ooh, free popcorn. <laughs> just go. Just literally just grab a bag and put some popcorn. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> we're randomly at Home Depot right now. We're just like, ooh, free popcorn. I, I don't see why not. It's no problem at all. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Let's go, bro. <laughs> oh, it's, it's plumbing. Oh. It almost crashed. Oh my lord, that is so cheap. Two dollars for ten feet. Should we just take this whole roll? <laughs> That's so cheap. What the heck? Let's just take the whole roll and cut it at home. Oh wait, but we can't. We have to, we don't got a car like that. Uh-uh. All right, guys, we just got all of our connections right here in a bag of small connections just in case. We need 22 piping, so this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of work, but uh, let's just get to it. Twenty six pipes later, we ended up going with twenty six. All right, guys, we finally got all the piping, so now I'm gonna head home and show you guys how you put this stuff together. Dude, no way. <laughs> $45. Paint booth, guys. Oh, 45 bucks. Oh, a little wrapping thing. Uh, let's just pay for this. We'll take this to the car and we'll come back for the other stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Piping sticking through the middle. Don't worry, your boys on detail the car. But you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, this is this is all we can work with. I don't. Uh, the X5. My brother currently took it to work. So. Uh, Let's just go get the last couple things that we need. Just another twenty dollars, no big deal. All right, guys, we're officially back home. Time to get all this stuff out of the car and uh, start working on a little workbench. This is where we're standing right now. These are pretty much scraps. Uh, these are threes and fours. We're actually gonna build a little workbench out of this. Why not? Because these are sold in tens. So basically, that when we got them cut. We have extras to either throw them away or do something with it. So we're probably gonna build a little workbench, something like this. Not like a workbench, but what is this? Like a pedestal or something mm -hmm. like that. So we'll do we'll do this stuff another day. That's not a big deal. That's not the topic of today's video. That'll be merged in another one of our videos. But anyways, um, today we're focusing on just pretty much building the paint booth. So we have right now. This is this is for what dimensions are we going with again? 13, 13 long. Thirteen long. Wide. Wide. Seventeen feet long. Long. Seven feet high. And seven feet high. So you guys heard him. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the dimensions we're going with. So this is pretty much what we got for that exact booth. This will fit a whole car and multiple parts. It should be pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, we're gonna combine some of those threes as sixes. Okay, yeah, so we'll be using that. That's what's up. So basically, um, we're gonna be using some of those threes. We're gonna be using some sevens, some sixes, some fives. Um, and then these are all the connections we're using. So we're using eight of these. I don't really, I mean, I don't know if the name, I, don't, I guess there's a little triangle thing in the bobber. So eight of these, eight of these guys, and 10 of these little connecting uh, things. Just basically connects two pipes together. We're connecting our two threes to make a six. So that's what these guys are for. right now um, it's actually stupid big so what we're thinking about doing right now is we're actually gonna shorten it so we have two three inches here um, we're gonna go ahead and just take off a three inch 
and go ahead and replace that and put a three inch, mainly because the garage and the clearance for everything is really bad. So I want my parents to be able to walk in here because um, we want to leave this in here for a couple days. We have a lot of things to paint and we wanted to make it as practical as possible. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and shorten this by three inches. Um, so the dimensions are a little bit different. I'll change the dimensions and throw it up here for you guys. Just testing to see what was better, three or a four. But guys, look how janky. This is. <laughs> so we didn't know we put a four foot and then a three foot. Um, but yeah, I think we're actually gonna go. Should we go with four foot? Four. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we're just gonna do the three foot, put a four foot. So basically, we're only cutting this short like an extra two uh, two two feet. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, but as you guys can see, we've got a lot more clearance for the garage, which is the main thing we're looking for. All right, guys, so I got my snacks. Devon's on his snacks right now, taking a little bit of a break. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, this thing really came together. It is sagging up there just a little bit. Um, but I'm also thinking once we actually use this wrap to wrap this whole thing, I think it's actually gonna help support it as well. Again, it's sagging up here a little bit as well, but there's nothing we can really do about that because we can't, you know, have another PCP pipe going up there because how else we're supposed to get in the car. Um, maybe, maybe, we are gonna put a pipe straight up after we get the car in? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, that's, but. That's possible. It's possible, but yeah, as of now, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we got the garage created up. I'm just trying to have enough room to where my parents can actually still use the garage, because I'm not taking this down every single day. Like, this is a one-time type of thing. It's never. Yeah, until we finish the car, and that's it. Like. I'm staying with the house at this point. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, we even moved. We even moved the paint station back to where, if I'm out of here, I can at least you know get some of the stuff done. Um, I know it's a mess right now, but uh, whatever. We'll, we'll get all this sorted out once we actually get this paint booth done. But yeah, pretty stoked on it. Let's just get our uh, take a little break right now and then get back to work. This guy. <laughs> all right, guys. So pretty much we are ready. We've taken our breaks. Now we're just gonna go ahead and use some of this stuff. Um, just some plastic sheeting. We're gonna go ahead and just wrap the entire thing with it, the roof, all that good stuff. So hopefully it comes out to our liking and hopefully it comes out to you guys' liking because I'm super stoked. We just wanna start painting this hood for you guys in the next video. So we just wanna get this set up. Let's get to it. So give me light, show me what I need. I know I'm blind, but I hear symphonies of your heart. Let's show you guys where we're at right now. Um, let's just go ahead and go inside the booth. Ugh. We're not gonna be able to get in here. Okay. Damn, this is like a definite murder scene up in here. This is when you kill somebody you want anyone to know. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, here's the booth. It's like an echo-ish effect, right? Is it just me? Hello? It is, yeah. It is kind of echo-ish. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go back to uh, Home Depot, pick up another, uh, pretty much another three, three piece connector. Uh, just so when we get the car inside, we can actually keep it up and fully supported. And then we're actually gonna get lighter um, film for the roof because I don't think it's gonna hold this type right here. It's yeah. some pretty thick stuff right there. Yeah. Put this on the floor. Yeah. We're still wet it though. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't pick up too much dust. But. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and pick up some thinner uh, wrap and then some uh, well, two PVC uh, pieces and I think we're good to go. And then um, it should look good. We'll see it, we'll see. We'll, well, let's go to Home Depot real quick and get the parts and I'll catch back to you guys when we get back. All right guys, we just came back from Home Depot. We picked up some really, really, really thin, uh, what's it called, drop cloths. So these are gonna be on the roof. I think these are, what is it, one mil, whatever the heck, uh, labels. This is 0.7. Um, so these actually we're gonna be using to wrap the car with. And then this, because they're both still paint protection, even though it's thin. And then this we're gonna be using to wrap the roof with. Wow. All right, guys. So for the murder trial, which subscriber are we picking up? Uh? Murder trial. Murder trial. <laughs> oh yeah. Kidding. So basically, guys, we're gonna have fights here. Doing the reason. So. Every week. Every, every week. week at, you know, Saturday at 12. We're gonna have fights right here. Person that dies, we're gonna wrap you up and throw you out. Really <laughs> <laughs> sharp and PVC fight, so. It's a PVC pipe war. Yeah. So, so this is Devon's weapon of choice. This is there you sharpened, go. Though, I, don't, I don't need weapons, man. I just use my fist, man. Oh, Arab style, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. <laughs> then choose your fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. All right, guys, this is where we stand right now. So this thing literally only has pretty much one major entrance, one small entrance. Once the garage is closed, you guys won't see all this wind and stuff. Uh, here's another small entrance, which will have a tape that shuts it in and out. But yeah, the roof is finally in. Um, our heads are not even rubbing against it, which is great. Um, and we're like six foot, so um, yeah, this is really good. And the car, I mean, it's gonna fit in here perfectly, and we'll actually have a hole that we'll bring in uh, pretty much the paint guns and everything with, because we're gonna need the hose and all that stuff uh, from the air compressor. But yeah, I think it's pretty much ready. So let me just show you guys from the outside. I, mean, I, I can't really show you guys from the outside. It's pretty much from the inside. I guess I'll try to show you guys from the outside real quick. Let me remind you guys, this is $100 to do this. So if you guys look at it from this side, it is slightly uh, like, <laughs> Like, I can't, I'm falling inwards slightly. And then on this side, it's perfect. Uh, no issues here. And I think on this side, it's slightly going in. No, actually, this side's perfect too. So the only um, flaw that we're having is that it's slightly concave and inwards there. But from the inside, you really can't even tell. Like, you can't even tell really. So I'm not really too worried about it. It looks insane. We still got a patch of that. It looks like there's a small buck crack right there. You see that right above you? Yeah, I'm trying to do that. I'm struggling right yeah, now. Yeah, I mean, if, I'll help you that out in a second. But other than that, guys, this thing is mint. $100. You guys can get your own paint booth in about eight hours of your time with a friend. <laughs> so um, I, I think personally it's worth it for the experience. I mean, if I ever do this again, I want it to be permanent. Um, this is obviously we have to take it down and like after we finish the paint job on this E90, uh, but it's whatever. I don't think we're gonna paint a whole car uh, soon. I think we'll be painting like body panels and stuff like that. So we just make, need to make a small booth, not something crazy like this. Anyways, guys, yeah, we're gonna call it a night um, and get to this tomorrow and start working and actually painting the hood and everything. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. And if you guys are liking how this paint booth is coming out, make sure to smash that like button. And without further ado, let me know actually if you guys would even do this. Let me know, are we crazy? Or it's coming together pretty good. Okay, now without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh yeah, remember stay humble, stay humble. All right guys, so we got the booth 100% done. So something we still need as well, we need to have ventilation. So we're gonna cut out two squares here and pick up two fans. One that brings air in, one that brings air out. So at least this whole place is ventilated. So we're gonna go ahead and go get that as well to finish up the booth. So as of now, the booth is costing us about $80 with the two fans. It'll cost us about $120 cause each fan's about 20 bucks. So yeah, um, total cost me 120. Um, I think that's literally the cheapest we're ever gonna find it. But also end of the day, I'm never gonna need these fans again. So. Actually, no, I can't, I can't return it. That'd be messed up, right? That paint all over it, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would just keep them. But anyways, let's go pick up those two fans and we'll check back to you guys when we pick them both up from Walmart. All right, guys, we just got back from McDonald's. Got a little bit of ice cream because it's been a long night. Uh, but <laughs> we literally started this at 12, right? Yeah, we started at 12. Like 12. 10. It's like 10 right now, or even maybe a little bit after. But yeah, guys, we finally figured out the last thing we need which is we needed two fans, one uh, for ventilation outwards and then one for inwards. And we needed two filters, which we're gonna be duct taping to this because uh, we need filters and we, we can't find ones right now with filters built in. So we're just gonna grab some filters, duct tape it and make it work because that's what you gotta do. So these are like 20 bucks a piece. This is about uh, $16. <laughs> but then we want something good to go <laughs> Guys, what is going on here is literally duct tape. We got a filter on here, it's good to go. Now we got a filtered fan. So if you guys are wondering where you get a filtered fan, you get a filter and a fan, one plus one is two. See, there you go, right? Yeah. See, right. you guys don't need college. <laughs> this is more, this costs more than the actual filtered fan would cost if you were just to buy one on Amazon. Exactly, so uh, we are good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set one up over there, one up over there and uh, hopefully we can get this thing running. Finally, we have a fan feeding air inwards filtered and air feeding out air outwards filtered. This place is pretty much sealed up. We still gotta seal up that side, but it's pretty much done. I mean, this place is pretty much done. The roof is slightly sagging, but we're both six foot and you guys can see we have a lot of distance above us as well. Walking in, no problem. The hood is in here. We're gonna go ahead and acetone it and we're ready to go and start painting this hood for the next video. Um, but yeah, um, the garage is slightly closed, so it is super windy outside. Um, that's why you guys can see all that's going on, but for the most part, I think we are fine. So end of the day, I wanted to name this thing like under a $100 uh, paint booth. Unfortunately, we did surpass $100. We are at approximately $140 for this paint booth with fans, filters, 
you know, that's that's with all this wrapped, all these tubings and everything, which I think is a pretty good deal, um, especially if it's something that's gonna be like in an area that's more permanent. Unfortunately for us, we're gonna be taking all this down. Um, I'll probably try to keep the piping and keep the fans on stuff for a future paint job. Um, so next time, all I'll have to do is buy this uh, wrap stuff. But yeah, pretty much that is that. If you guys want to see what's going on, if you guys are new to the channel, you guys want to see what's going on here. For the first time, I'm actually painting a hood, a car um, with you know, a real spray gun, a real tank. We're doing something new. We want to try to do it as best as possible. So if you guys are ha excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys want to see that, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.